Hey everyone, Bilal aka Cove here. Today we'll be going over the new Tuya V2 API. Tuya announced recently that they'll be upgrading to a new V2 API and they're urging us to move over from our V1 legacy API. So with LumiaStream 5.4, we've offered an upgrade path to move from V1 to V2 API, but it will require creating a new Tuya developer account. The great news is that you'll notice an immediate speed and stability improvement almost immediately. So let's jump right in. So to start out, we're going to open up Lumia stream and we're going to go to connections. We're either going to edit our connection or add a new connection if we don't have it connected already. But since I already have it connected, I'm going to edit my two year connection. Then since I already have this connected to my V1 API, I'm just going to select reset connection. And when I'm here, you'll now see there's a new tab called API version. I'm going to select V2 API and now you'll see a new input field called access ID and access secret. So to get this access ID and access secret, we're going to need to go to iot.tuya.com. Once here, you'll need to create a Tuya developer account. This is not connected to your mobile app, so you'll have to create a new account if you don't already have a developer account. And also this goes the same for Tuya and slash or smart life. They're pretty much the same thing in the back end. Smart life just uses Tuya's network. So you'll still need a Tuya developer account, even if you're connecting to smart life. Next up, we're just going to skip all these tutorials because you have us. Now a pop up will show up asking you for your account type settings. Just press set now. And now we're enrolled as an individual developer. We're just going to go to account center and you'll see your account set up. Now the next steps is setting up our cloud developer account. So we're going to go to cloud on the sidebar and we're going to choose development. We're going to create a cloud project. We're going to give it any name. I'm just going to name mine Lumia stream connection. And then the industry is important. You got to choose smart home and for development method, you need to choose smart home as well. The data center is extremely important. Uh, you may get this wrong the first time, but it's okay. I'm going to show you in the future how to get back to this menu. Now I've already went through these steps. I actually live in Eastern America, but for some reason I was put into the Western America data center. So I had to choose Western American instead, but I'll show you how to change that. Last but not least is choosing device status notification. Technically you don't need this right now, but in the future we will be relying on this and then just press and authorize. So step two is complete. We now have a cloud project. You can even see your access ID and access secret right here that we're going to need to put into Lumia stream, but we aren't done yet. Now we need to connect our mobile app to our developer account. So I'm going to go to devices and then I'm going to select link to your app account and press add app account. After this, I'm going to have my QR code. So I'm going to open up my mobile app. And once the two year mobile app is open, I'm going to select the me tab. And then when I'm on the me tab, you'll see a scan icon in the top right corner. Select that and we'll scan the QR code. We're going to confirm login. And now everything is connected. So we'll go right back over to the Tuya website again, and we're going to select overview to grab our access ID and access secret. So let's grab that, copy that over and open up Lumia stream and paste it in. We're also going to log in with our Tuya mobile app, email and password to your smart life. If you're using smart life, which is different than your developer account, if you made them differently. So whatever email and password you set up on your mobile app is what you need to enter here. Next up, select a country and then press check. If everything goes through, your lights will show up. Select your lights and press next and everything is complete. This goes for both Tuya and Smart Life. Now, one issue you may actually run into is when I was scanning with my mobile app, this QR code, originally it said my region was incorrect because I selected Eastern America. I do live in Eastern America, but for some reason that wasn't the data region I was assigned to. So if you run into that, go back to the Tuya website and right here under cloud projects overview, you'll see an edit button. Press that edit button and you can select your data center. Make sure you remove your old data center and select the new one. And then try the process over again by going back to devices, add device and setting everything back up again. And one last troubleshooting step is that if your lights aren't responding right away, then some users have reported that changing your password on the Tuya mobile app and then changing it back to the original one will help out with the connection for some reason. We don't really know why, but that's been solving issues for people. And just like that, you have your new Tuya V2 API. And as we promised, you'll notice an immediate speed and stability improvement. We hope you have a luminous day.